Hi, it's Chris Flanagan here, and this is just a quick announcement to let you know about Pediatric Emergencies 2023. This is our free online conference that we run every year, and this year it's going to be taking place on Thursday, the 9th of November. Again, this is going to be a free live stream on YouTube that you're just going to be able to go to YouTube and watch without needing to sign up in advance. So the theme for this year's event is Waiting for the Pediatric Retrieval Team, and we're going to have a whole series of talks focusing on the initial resuscitation and stabilisation of the critically ill child. So the first draft of the programme has just been published and it is over on the Pediatric Emergencies website if you want to go ahead and check that out. So we're just finalising the speakers at this stage, but most of the speakers you will have heard before on previous year's events, they're all great speakers, so this is shaping up to be a great day's learning. So this year we're planning on doing things slightly differently. Previously we had focused on pre-recording all the talks and then at the end of each of the talks having some live panel discussion and answering your questions. The main focus this year is going to be making things much more interactive with much more discussion. So there's not going to be any of the talks pre-recorded, they're all going to be happening live on the day and we're going to be focusing mainly on case-based discussions. And the case-based discussions are going to happen in two different ways. One where as we're working through the case we're going to be stopping at various points and asking you guys what you would do at each stage of the case. And in some of those case discussions, what you do will actually shape how the case progresses, be it for the better or be it for the worse. Another way we're going to be running the case-based discussions is instead of stopping and asking you guys what you would do at various points, we're going to stop and ask the panel what they would do at various points and have quite a detailed panel discussion about the pros and cons of each of the different options. So in previous years, while you guys were listening to the pre-recorded talks, the panel was actually having quite detailed discussions offline about the cases that you were listening to. And we thought afterwards, this is actually really interesting, and we were keen to share this discussion with you guys. So that's the idea for doing some of the cases this way. So as well as sticking to sessions that have worked very well over the previous years, such as our ProCon debate, that's going to be back this year, we are planning on adding in a few new sessions this year. The first of those is entitled Questions from the DGH, and as the name suggests, we're going to be taking your questions over one whole session and dedicating that to answering them. So the questions can be anything to do with the initial stabilisation and resuscitation of the critically ill child. It can be a case that you've had in the past and you've not been sure why people have done one particular thing, or maybe why they didn't do something different. That's the idea of this. Submit your questions to us and we'll discuss them during that session. So this session is only going to work if we get enough questions. So what we're asking you guys to do is over on our conference webpage, that's pediatricemergencies.com, click on the conference tab at the top, select Pediatric Emergencies 2023, and scroll down to the bottom of that page and leave us your question in the comments section. The final thing to mention is we're opening this year's event up for abstract submissions. And again, the abstracts can be anything to do with initial stabilisation and resuscitation of the critically ill child. So in terms of the rules for submitting your abstract, we're going to keep this really simple. You've got one A4 page and use it any way you want. You can create a poster, you can do a simple written abstract. The choice is yours. You'll find all the details about submitting your abstract over on that conference webpage in the Pediatric Emergencies website. And what we're going to be doing is publishing the best abstracts on the Pediatric Emergencies website. And the one abstract that we think is the best, we're going to be inviting that person to join us on the panel for the day, where they're going to have the opportunity to present their abstract live on the day. So it is shaping up to be quite an exciting day. I'm looking forward to getting your questions and your abstract submissions over the coming months, and hope to see as many of you as possible on the 9th of November.